Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing my everyday makeup tutorial. I know it's kind of similar to my bronze simple looks, but this has been so requested lately. I think people just kind of want to see my everyday products, what I've been using, what I've been loving. So I decided to sit down and film it for you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up. I mean, if you want, kind of really cool. I'm just kidding, I'm really lame. But um, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. Started. When I do my makeup on an everyday basis, I really make sure my skin is like super fresh and ready for makeup. Basically, I exfoliate with like a scrub and a cleanser, and then I go in with like a really nice moisturizer. I talked about this recently in my favorites video, but it's the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. It is so good and so hydrating, so basically almost out of it. But um, yeah, I just love using this on my face because it makes my foundation and concealer go on like really nice. That's kind of hot, so, but I obviously need to keep clothes on since I'm on the internet. Anyway, okay, so after my moisturizer is on, ah, I love going in with an eye cream. This is my Benefit It's Potent eye cream, and I just kind of apply this all over under my eye. I also bring it up on my eyelids. And lastly, just to like really rejuvenate my face, I use my Renewed Hope in a Jar um, Hydrating Mist by Philosophy. Love that stuff. Okay, sorry, I'm not trying to like be sexy. It's really hot in here. <laughs> so once my skin is completely hydrated, it depends like what I'm doing that day because sometimes if it's really like gonna be a long day and wear makeup all day, I'll go in with a primer. But usually I just kind of use my moisturizer and like the hydration of my skin to prime, if that makes any sense. So if I was just a normal everyday, kind of quick day, not staying on all night, I go right in with foundation. I've really been loving this lately. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. The reason I really like this is because it's a water-based foundation, so it's really lightweight. You guys know I live by my It Cosmetics CC Cream, but I'm switching it up for you guys. <laughs> I just use a little bit of this, and I kind of just like drop it on my face. Oh, oh, oh. I usually kind of spread it around. I know it's a little bit... Um, it's not the most convenient, but it's really nice. I'm also in the shade light medium neutral. I'm fake tanned right now, just so you know. Um, I just take kind of any like little kabuki brush, like a round top, and I just kind of like blend this all over my face. I've been really loving lately doing it with a brush first and then going in with a beauty blender and blending the foundation out with a blender after that. This foundation goes on so pretty if you have um, kind of dry skin since it's water-based. It's just really nice. Also, if your skin's nice and hydrated before, it looks really pretty. I do a little bit on my lids just to be safe. So once that's kind of evenly blended, I just go in with my beauty blender and just kind of like press in any of the excess. I'm now gonna go in with my new favorite concealer. Uh, this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I heard so much about this on YouTube and for some reason it's just taken me a really long time to get around using it. What I've kind of learned about this is on YouTube, people use a lot of this product. Like, they'll go full triangles and I think it works best if you just do like a little bit because it, it is thicker, but it doesn't feel thick. So it's not like a thick concealer, but it definitely is like more full coverage. So I don't like doing like a bunch, you know what I mean? So I just like do a little bit. I know that's not a little bit for some people, but I guess in my terms of a little bit, it's a little bit. Um, I just take my beauty blender. I've actually been using a Morphe sponge. I'll have it linked down below because it's way more affordable than a beauty blender, but I can't find it, so. I'm just taking a little bit of my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm not baking but I am taking it on my beauty blender and just directly pressing it under my eyes. This is just going to make sure it lasts like all day. 
And I only do it under my eyes a tiny, tiny bit. Just so it doesn't crease. I do it right away. Until mine goes a little bit. So lately I've really been loving this Hula Quickie Contour Stick by Benefit. It's just like a really pretty color and it looks really nice when I'm tan just like to add a little extra. So I love doing like a little cream contour. I prefer doing this because it looks really natural on the skin instead of just going straight in with powder. This is personal preference. I use a dense angled brush, spray a little spray, and I just blend it out. And this product blends so nicely with the brush. It also blends really nicely um, if you spray your brush a little bit. And I also already have kind of a smaller forehead. You usually put bronzer up there if you want to kind of make your appearance like the, of your forehead look a little bit tinier. But since I have a pretty, I basically have a three head, um, I just do it to warm up my skin. I sprayed my camera. After I do that, I go in with my cream highlighter. One last time before I do a cream highlight, I love spraying my hydrating mist. If you guys want a cheaper alternative, y'all know my Mario Badescu is like my favorite thing in the world, but I don't have it next to me right now, so this is like my second favorite. Actually, it's like tied, but I'm almost out of it. I love how cold that feels on my skin. I know I use this all the time. Again, I know this kind of seems like a repetitive video, but lately it's been requested, and I guess I switched up concealer and foundation on an everyday basis, so I felt like it was cool to show you guys what I do. But I love my Benefit Watts of Highlighting Stick. I use just my finger now. I used to use my Beauty Blender, but now I just use my finger because it really melts the product and like looks really healthy on the skin. Um, so, it's kind of blend upward. In the light, so gorgeous. Always the tip of my nose because I think it's like the cutest thing. Even though I have a zit right now and I just highlighted it. Oh well, gotta embrace it. A little on my lip. Also, I forgot to do what I've been loving to do lately, but really quickly. I like to just pounce out my highlighter with my blender just so it's like a little bit natural, but nothing crazy. This is what I forgot to do that I love doing. Where'd it go? Oh, no, that's not what I use. I also love doing a little bit of this quickie contour stick. Um, I know this is like kind of fake. I just take a little on my finger. I like dot it right there and blend it. And it kind of just makes my lip just like looks a little poutier. Okay, so since I usually switch my brows, I always do a powder or a pencil. Um, the first thing I always do is I just brush them up, like so, and my eyebrows are really uneven, like this one's kind of more square and this one's a little bit more arched, and there's like a missing part in my eyebrow, so the first thing I, oh god, I hope everyone's okay, I hate hearing sirens, I literally hate it. I always, the first thing I do is just fill in that little gap, I just take my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown, and just kind of like make that have a spot <laughs> and then I just brush it out so that's the first step just so it looks a little bit more normal um, I try and like arch this one a little bit to make them even but I learned to just embrace that my eyebrows are never gonna be even and I'm really the only one that pays attention to it so if you feel that way nobody else probably notices so probably everyone notices how weird my brows are since I put it on YouTube every week but that's okay. <laughs> and then what I like to do just to fill them and make them a little bit more natural is going with my Sigma Brow Powder in Medium Brown. And I just kind of mix both those shades, tap them off. I'm using an Anastasia number 12, just a little angled brush with a spoolie. And I just kind of like do the front half a little bit, like nothing crazy. Do you see how light that is? Like I'm hardly touching it. Um, and then I just kind of like push the product upward again um, and then I just set them in place with this brow gel from Mary Kay it's 
Only 10 bucks. It's a really little bottle, but it lasts a long time. So after that, I finally move on to the eyes. I feel like people are gonna get mad at me because I do nothing to my eyes, and people are gonna say I do the same looks every day, which is basically warm tone brown in my crease. But you guys asked for this video, so I'm assuming some people wanted to see it, right? <laughs> Before I do my eyes, I'm just gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury powder, and with any sort of brush that's clean, I just kind of powder my eyes down for the shadow. I love dipping it in my Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in the shade Golden Light. This is like my perfect crease shade. And I just literally blend this in my crease. Um, so I just blend that out. And what I've been loving recently is then just taking a flat shader brush. And I take the same product and I just place it all over my lid. And this just kind of like adds a little bit more dimension. And just kind of like... Makes it look a little bit more smoky, but nothing crazy. I basically just take a little smudge brush, put a little bit on here, and smoke out that lower lash line just a tiny bit. I'm also just going to take my Charlotte Tilbury now, powder really quickly, and just set. I can see my lash line starting to come through. So I'm just going to set the rest of my face. Really quickly, pause the eyes. I just want to finish off the face with what I normally do. I'm going to be taking my Marc Jacobs. It's a massive powder. Like, this this stuff lasts you till probably next year. Um, I'm just going to take this on kind of like a tapered, fluffy brush. And I just pack a little bit this on. And just kind of like go around the perimeters of my cheeks. I like how I don't... Oh, I never noticed the smell. It smells really good. I like that I can just really... Like, I don't have to be too light-handed, but it, like, comes out, like, a really perfect amount. It's, like, kind of weird. Like, it's kind of perfect. And once that is... Sorry. Once that is done, I take my Marc Jacobs Lush and Libido. I think that's what it's called. It's kind of like this purpley pink blush. I just use, like, a little bit. Yes, Olivia puts color on her cheeks now. If you've been around for a while, you're probably shocked. <laughs> and finally I just take a little bit of my powder highlight and champagne pop just got a new one very happy about it and just like a little fan brush of some sort this stuff is a lot so I just like whew, literally a little goes a long way just a little bit like that and then I blend it out with my beauty blender. Okay, right, so now I like to do my eyes. I typically try and do a winged line, like wing eyeliner, but it's still a constant struggle for me. So I'm gonna attempt to do this. Every time I do my makeup when I go out, I always do my winged eyeliner, but it takes years. So the first thing I normally do is just start with a straight line, attempt to connect it. It's okay, no one's perfect. Okay, so I kind of did it. I'm going to leave it because every time I try and fix it, I mess up. When I put mascara on, it looks a little bit better. They look a little bit even. So let's just pray I can do this to my other eye. <laughs> this one's a little bit more messed up. It's like kind of awkward. But I'm going to throw on um, my Better Than Sex mascara since it's literally the only mascara I've used since like forever. I'm going to apply a lot of that and then see what I have to adjust because sometimes when mascara is on, it looks okay. So let's give it a go. Kinda don't worry about it, like getting on my lashes. I just let it dry and then take a Q-tip and kinda like wipe it away. I love doing my lower lashes. Every day I kinda go between two lip glosses, so I wanted to show you both. This first one is my Chanel Glossimer in the shade 189. I'll try and find this and link it down below. This is my perfect gloss. It doesn't add color to my lip, it just makes them look really nice. Kinda subtle, it's beautiful. And then, and I, anytime I wear this, I always get questions, what's on my lip? And then I have this Buxom, it's kind of like a plumping one in White Russian. The Buxom plumps your lips a little bit. So that is why I'm gonna go for the Buxom one today. Um, and it's so pretty. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the final look. Um, let me know your everyday makeup look. 
what you use, what you've been loving, and I will see you in my next video.